Hello, welcome to our channel where we explore the world of Odoo. In this video series, I'll walk you through an alternative approach to learn Odoo module development, making it faster and easier to navigate the basics and get started with your own projects. If you're new to Odoo module development, don't worry, you don't need to be an expert in programming languages like Python, JavaScript, SQL, XML, HTML, or CSS to start developing Odoo modules. While having these skills can be beneficial, they're not essential at the beginning. Before we dive into the development process, let's cover some fundamental concepts that will help you understand how ODA works. First, ORM. ODA uses its own object relational mapping or ORM system to manage data. This means you'll primarily interact with the ORM API rather than writing SQL queries. The second, Data-driven approach, almost everything in Odoo is defined in data files, which are processed to create menus, forms, reports, and more. Last but not least, modular design. Everything in Odoo starts and ends with modules. A module is essentially a grouping of functions and data focused on a particular objective. In the context of Odoo, modules can either implement fresh business logic into the system or adjust and expand upon the existing logic. These concepts form the building blocks of ODA development, and knowing them will help you get started with creating your own modules. Now that you know the basic concept, the next step is to create a cheat module. This module will serve as a repository of code snippets that you can easily search and modify so you can copy and paste it later when you're creating the real module. While IDEs offer snippet features and there are many add-ons for code snippets, creating your own cheat module will help you become more comfortable with ODA development. Since it's an actual ODA module, you can treat it like any other module, search the code using your IDE, install it, and more. You can also add your own comments, tags, or anything else to make it easier to understand and search later. Before we begin, if you have not set up your development environment yet, please watch my videos on this channel about setting up ODA development first. Now, let's begin. First, create a directory for your custom modules and add it to the ODA add-on path in the ODA configuration file. Then, create a directory for the module itself. For this tutorial, we'll name it cheat underscore module, but feel free to choose any name you prefer. The first file to create in this directory is the manifest file. Oda uses the data from this file to register the module in its database, process data files listed in the manifest, and more. Since it's Python code, specifically a Python dictionary, you can add comments just like in any other Python code. Next, we create common codes in Oda development, such as models with fields, views, menus, actions, and so on. Let's create a model first. Create a Python init file. This file marks the module directory as a Python package and it's required if your module contains Python codes. Since we're going to create a model which will be inside models directory, we need to put the import statement for the models directory. Next, create a directory inside the module directory named models. Create two files, one is an init file and one is for our model, let's name the file cheats.py. Inside the init file, put an import statement for our model. For the model, let's just add some fields and methods this time. Now let's create the user interface for the model. There are two basic views in Odoo, the first is the list view or tree view, and form view. Next, we create some menus and link a menu item to an action that will show the views. Now we need to define access rights for the model, otherwise no one can access our model. Lastly we're going to add one of the most common codes in Oda module development, codes to store configuration settings. We'll be creating the simplest way to do this, which is to store the configuration settings in company record. First we create our own field for the configuration setting and add this file to the init file for this directory. And then we add the user interface for it and add it to the manifest file. Optionally, we can add icon for the module. To do this, create a PNG image file and put it in directory static slash description inside the module. And that's it, let's try it. Launch Odoo and go to menu app to install the cheat module.
now that we have a working cheat module, I would suggest to copy the module to another directory to have a basic template for creating modules. The purpose of this copy is to help us whenever we create a new module we can copy this one instead of the cheat module. As the cheat module grows, it might be too much if we use it as a starting point to create new module. That's it for now, next time we'll explore more techniques and tools for our Oda development. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my experiments and tutorials.